Have you ever noticed that the plants in your garden seem to grow really well right after a rain? There's actually a scientific reason for that. And actually, if that rain comes with a lightning storm, even better. Hey guys, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to Oxart Gardening. I really like to talk about the science of why things happen in the garden. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about why rainwater seems to be so good for your garden. It has been raining all day here and this is the second day this week that we've had just like a full day of like pretty consistent rain and I swear like the entire world looks greener. You're driving down the road and it's just like green on all sides. Now I live in upstate South Carolina so it is really green here as it is but it just feels like right after the rain, everything gets to be this like vibrant green that you just don't see like any other day. And it turns out it's not just my imagination. It's not just the lighting. It is actually because the plants are greener. So something that you might have heard before is that plants need nitrogen. Actually, all of us need nitrogen. But when we're talking about gardening, plants specifically need nitrogen because it is a uh, critical component of chlorophyll, which is the um, green part of the plant that uh, helps it do photosynthesis and turn that carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into the sugars that it uses as its food. Nitrogen is also a critical element in uh, amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. And these are, you know, the molecules that we use and that plants use to do a lot of different jobs. But because nitrogen is such a critical component of chlorophyll, this is why a lot of times when a plant is experiencing a nitrogen deficiency, that presents as a yellowing of the leaves. There's not as much green, which means there's not as much chlorophyll. Another fact you might have heard in relation to nitrogen is that our atmosphere is made up of mostly nitrogen. Um, and you might think about that for a second and think, hey, if there's so much nitrogen in our atmosphere, why do plants ever need to get it from anywhere else? Why would they ever have a deficiency? And the reason for that is because the nitrogen, as it exists in the air as a gas, is not absorbable by plants. Um, and this is true for a lot of different nutrients that we and plants need. Um, it might be right there, but if it's not in a form that we can absorb, then it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do us any good. So this brings me to the really cool part about all of this, uh, which is that the nitrogen, as it exists as a gas in the air, can actually be converted into a usable form for plants by the heat of lightning. So the heat from lightning causes nitrogen gas and oxygen gas in the atmosphere to combine into nitrogen monoxide, which then continues to react with oxygen to make nitrogen dioxide, which then will react with water vapor in the atmosphere to form a nitrate. Nitrates are soluble in water, which means that as the rain falls, these nitrates fall to earth with the rain. And these nitrates, once the nitrogen is in the form of a nitrate, it is absorbable by plants. So the rainwater is literally delivering a usable form of nitrogen to the plants from the air. There are other ways that this can happen. It doesn't just have to be via lightning and rainwater. Um, nitrogen fixing, which is what this is called, can also happen via bacteria that interact with the roots of legumes and symbiotically perform this process of pulling nitrogen out of the atmosphere and turning it into a usable form for plants. I've got a whole video explaining the process of how that works um, right up here. But in addition to bringing all this nitrogen straight to your plants, rainwater is also good for a second reason, and that is because it is slightly acidic. It is just ever so slightly acidic. It is going to be between 5.6 and 6.0 pH, um, and this is a good thing. This is not a bad thing. It's a good thing because pH can affect the availability, again, of nutrients that are just sitting in the soil. 
um, notably having this slightly acidic soil is going to release things like zinc and manganese and copper and iron which are all really important micronutrients that your plants are going to need to access so in addition to getting this boost of nitrogen when the rain falls this slight acidification that happens in the soil near the roots is going to release some of those really important micronutrients right to the roots of your plants I've touched on how pH affects micronutrients in plants before, and uh, I do have a whole video talking about that here because I'm a nerd and I'm going to tell you all about pH and the soil and all of that. As with anything good, however, you can have too much. Um, in this case, you can have too much nitrogen um, that your plants have access to, and this can present in the form of plants growing way too fast um, because they don't have good regulation in that department they have the nutrients and they will just explode and because they're growing so fast um, they tend to be less robust um, they'll grow a little stringier and they will attract pests specifically aphids um, and it has been proposed that this is actually kind of a symbiotic thing that the plants are calling the aphids to them to kind of help eat them back and uh, prevent them from killing themselves basically by spending all their nutrients growing huge. I'll link to a cool video that explains that entire concept up here. But that being said, rainwater is very unlikely to be the reason that your plants are getting too much nitrogen. Um, I wish that there was more research on the subject, but I did manage to find um, a study from 1990 that was looking at the amount of nitrates in rainwater falling on the Gulf Coast. And uh, by their measurements, the amount of nitrogen that's coming down would have been about 10% of the nitrogen requirements for crops in that area. So looking at that, I would, I would say it was very unlikely for rainwater to be the reason that your plants are getting too much nitrogen. However, keep in mind that the amount of nitrogen in rainwater is going to vary greatly. Like I said, a lot of it is connected to lightning. So if you live in a place where you get a lot of rain, but maybe not so much lightning, then you will probably have lower amounts of nitrogen nitrates in your rainwater than somewhere where you like always have a thunderstorm. And then different places get different amounts of these storms every year. So again, the variation in all of that is huge. But again, looking at the existing numbers, it is very unlikely that your plants would get over, overdosed on nitrogen via rainwater. All in all, rainwater is a great thing for your garden. And if you have the ability to capture rainwater and use that to water your garden in the times when you would normally be watering from the hose, then definitely do that. Um, it will definitely continue to boost the soil in somewhat of the same way. Hey guys, editing Rachel here. Um, I just found out that my partner, Organic Rev, is going to be able to offer 50 free four ounce bottles to you guys. Um, normally these bottles are available free on their website, but you would normally have to pay for shipping. Um, and this month they've decided that as a gift to you guys, my subscribers, they are going to uh, make room in their budget to send out 50 of these free samples with free shipping as well. So that's absolutely no money from you guys to try this out. And I do highly recommend that if you get to be one of the first 50 to try this out. This is going to act kind of like a fertilizer without actually being a fertilizer. If you've never heard me talk about it before, I really like it because it fits into the idea of building your soil life and the um, productiveness of your garden from the ground up. As I was talking about in this video, um, there are a lot of nutrients in the soil that aren't necessarily bioavailable to your plants at the time. Um, and the beneficial bacteria and fungi in this product um, will help make some of those nutrients available to your plants. Um, and additionally, why something like this I think is better than fertilizer, um, as I mentioned, you can have too much nitrogen in your plants. And one of the main reasons that you could end up with too much nitrogen, not the rain, but usually like traditional fertilizers. They tend to be really high in nitrogen. People can very easily over apply them thinking, oh, more of a good thing. Um, and it ends up being kind of bad for your plants. Um, not to mention the runoff large scale into the environment, which is something I'm not going to like rant about to you right now, 
but it is an issue. Um, and so that's why I like this because it is going to boost your plants in the same way. It's going to make them more robust, more resistant to disease, um, help them grow better without being any of those things that you don't want in your garden. So your link to get this is going to be actually at the in the description of the upcoming garden tour. So if you don't want to miss that, it's going to be first come, first serve, first 50 people to click on that link in the description of this coming garden tour. Um, go ahead and subscribe, turn on notifications so that you don't miss that link. And um, hopefully you'll be one of the lucky 50 to get your free sample. And if you happen to miss it, you can still get a free sample. You're just going to have to pay for shipping. Now I'm going to go let other Rachel say goodbye to you guys. If you're super interested in learning more but didn't want to click off in the middle of the video to go check out those links, I'm going to put those links up here for you again to go check out now. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy gardening!